Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm the founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com, a digital die cutting community teaching you guys how to master your die cutting machine. In today's video, we get asked so often from our new members and our yearly members at Makers Gonna Learn how they're able to download those fonts and take full advantage of them on their iPhone and iPad. Now this process is exactly the same if you are using any other um, font websites out there that you want to access them on your Cricut Design Space, but today's video is in particularly focused in for our Makers Gonna Learn members. So if you're not already a member at Makers Gonna Learn, be sure to check out that first link down below is our paid membership group, but you get access to hundreds of fonts, over a thousand cut files, and many more exclusive member-only perks that you can find out all the details at the first link down below. But it's really easy to be able to access your fonts on your iPad um, or iPhone using the tips and tricks we have in today's video. So let's share with you exactly how to do it. So what you're going to want to do is head over to your iPad or iPhone and first let's hit up the App Store. You're going to want to search for the font, or excuse me, <laughs> the app called Any Font. Any Font is an app that is $1.99, so yes, this is a paid font. But trust me, it is a game changer to allow fonts on your iPad. So it's called Any Font. It you know allows you to manage all and all the fonts you'll ever need right here. Gives you some um, screenshots and things like that of the app, which is really awesome. And I love that it's compatible um, not only with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but it's also compatible with our amazing Cricut Design Space um, software. And honestly, for $1.99, this is a perfect app that you're able to use really quickly. So after you've purchased and downloaded it, you're able to open it. But before we even need to open it, we need to have a font to download. So we're going to head on over to makersgonnalearn.com um, and you must be logged in. And again, you must be a yearly member. So our yearly membership tier is the best value for the most benefits. It's the lowest price that you'll pay for a membership and you get access to the most perks. So you just want to click on that font tab and then you can scroll through and look at our different categories. So you can look under scripts, um, you know, for example, and see we have pages of script fonts that we love. So say we'd like to download which one? Let's see, um, Chloe's House. We can just click that download button and if you missed it, I'll go back. Um, you can press this orange download button right here um, and it'll download or you can select the font that you would like to work with today and download it from the individual font page where you can find the download button here, but you will also find it in one other place right here under grab this font's file. So you can click download now it's going to bring you to this zip file. Now it says right now to open an iZip, but we're going to select more and we're going to scroll over and click copy to any font. So just click that green button and it will automatically send you on over to any font. Now we've been working with any font for quite some time. Um, so you can see we have lots of of fonts already here on our iPad. So we're gonna scroll up and they're in alphabetical order. So we're going to find the one that we downloaded, which is Chloe's house, and we're gonna click on it. So right here, it says tap icon to install. So all you gotta do, be sure to pay attention to this, it's really easy, click here and press. It's going to ask if it will allow you to open settings to show you the configured profile and you want to click allow. So now it's going to take you to your settings app and say install profile. You are going to want to select install and then you can enter the passcode for your tablet. I'm quickly entering mine and then it's going to ask you to give consent. It's going to allow you to install this. You're going to click next. It's going to give you a quick warning and you can click install and press install one more time. And now it states the profile has been installed. 
you may press done and it's going to send you right back to any font. Now what you're going to want to do is if you've been using the Cricut Design Space app, you want to kill the app, quote unquote. So you're going to double click really quick and you can just swipe up on these apps. We don't need any of them right now. So we're going to then go ahead and relaunch that Cricut Design Space app by clicking on it and we can click new project. So then you're able to go under text and you can look under system fonts. When you download a Maker's Gonna Learn font, you always will find it under system and then you can search Chloe and find Chloe's house. So then you can top out, you know, something right here and then be able to adjust it just like you would any other font. Um, you can just change that letter spacing, anything like that, like you typically would with other fonts. You guys are going to be able to design and play with it. We absolutely love being able to download fonts onto our iPad and it's super easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We absolutely had a blast sharing with you guys how easy it is. And it's so easy to just take advantage of a $1.99 app. It's called any font. If you have any questions about it, be sure to leave us a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up if you love this video and if you found it helpful, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you love your die cutting machine and would like to see more tips and tricks and projects using your die cutting machine. And again, if you're not a Maker's Gonna Learn member, be sure to check out that first link down below and grab your membership today. And we hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.